So I'm walking along at Grafham Down. You can probably hear the. There seems to be a lot of pheasants around here and sheep. And I had a lovely, a lovely night in the scrubs. Yes, I made that joke on the hiking channel. So I'm going to do it again. And I found this little bowl, uh, quarry. I think there's lots of flints everywhere. There's chalk and flints in this area, and neolithic. So I suspect it might have been an old little flint quarry, or a maybe a place where someone dug out to burn charcoal or something. There's a lot of those around here. And so, yeah, I had a reasonable night. I'm going to rehash. I say what I'm going to probably have on the on the channel, but it's. Um, yeah, there, been, there was deer. I saw the deer um, right at the end. I was having my breakfast, but there was tracks down to the tent that weren't there during the night. And I was like, "Ooh, what's that?" And I was like, "Pretty sure it's deer." And then I saw them, a family of deer who were lurking nearby. They came and investigated the tent in the middle of the night and woke me up because I woke up quite a few times. Being sort of cold, was it hot? Then cold. Got to take everything off, and then sort of <laughs> lukewarm, just like in Goldilocks and the porridge. And then I had some porridge, so it was <sighs> it was an okay night. Um, a bit more anxious this time, um, partly because the whole story is about oh, it's really do you know you shouldn't be. You know, it's really difficult to wild camp on the on the South Downs Way. Well, certainly this section, it's very possible. Graph them down. I'm, I'm going to post this. When you hear this, it's, I'm going to be well, well gone. And I probably will post all of this stuff well after when I'm on the, on the way back. So I'm recording these in advance, so yay, if you're looking for me there, you won't find me there. Because um, yeah, that's why we're going to do these jaunts from now on, unless I'm in some place that, if I name a place, I'm not posting it. Because I mean, there's a danger doing that anyway. I mean, it was, when I'm staying at campsites, it was fine, but when I'm on my own in the middle of a wood... I'm not going to tell anyone, apart from John, where I'm going. And I'm not going to tell anyone at the time on social media where to find me at night in the middle of a wood. No, I'm not that stupid. I may be fairly stupid, but not that stupid. So hopefully we'll get to do some art today. I'm trying to get back into the thing of walking with the pack. I did four miles I was wandering around Guildford fine with it and then did four miles yesterday and my back's killing me a bit today. Um, and so I'm going to see how we get to at Waltham and the Cadence there, which apparently is closed. I was hoping that I could charge my phone a bit more. So until I've charged my phone, I'm going to be a bit, I mean, it's restricted to, to photographs and the podcast. I might even use some of the podcast in the video if, if I'm missing bits. But yeah, it's going to be a bit of a montage. But uh, yeah, there's at least water there. So there's a water tap. So I should be able to refill my water, which is great to know that they all have water taps outside. So we can. So if you're, in, if you're walking the South Downs Way, I look out for the little cadence places, even if they're closed, you should have a water tap, according to the woman at Cocking. So, that's very useful information. You see, occasionally I have useful information, it's not just me moaning. <sighs> Ouch, yeah. <sighs> it's just after nine, and I'm just sort of getting used to the cadence, yeah, the walking with the pack. And it's yeah, it's tough at the moment, but I'm hoping I'll get more into it. The problem is if you keep stopping to do a podcast, stopping to do photographs, stopping to do, you know, things, 
uh, it sort of breaks up the flow and doesn't help. So I'll, I'll stop here. Moonlit flit from Wembley. I uh, currently staring at the moon and the setting sun, although it's very dimly setting. As I escaped from Amberley, I made the mistake of going into Amberley. It's one of those towns, the ones I hate hikers and walkers and look at you like one up, one down, and like, Ew. and lots of questions. Of course, I didn't answer any at the stores because nosy. I asked about the bunkhouse, and that's apparently like that's going, but it's about 30 quid. And I was like, yeah. And then... Hey, how public is that? That was about 30 quid. And then... Yes, it is. And then... You know... He was asking about where he's staying, as if I'm going to say, <laughs> as if I'm going to have that discussion. I was like, oh, no, I think I'm going home tonight, you know, I was thinking wondering whether to stay on, blah, blah, blah. It's a... Uh, hmm. So I'm currently kind of in the dark looking for a place to camp. Only bumped into one person who's doing a late night ramble, so we have to be careful. Uh, I will find a place. Who is that? Bats? Possibly. I was aiming for a. There's a. I think that edge was not the one I was thinking of. A distant edge, which I think one might be on now. Um. This looked promising and also I'm not sure if I'm at the one I was thinking of. The one that's yellow coloured on the OS map, which I've got no idea what that is. But uh, this is a bit more sheltered and a bit more off the path. So it depends on how far me it is. Anyway, I'll speak to you soon and hopefully I don't have a restless night being thrown off by the farmer.